Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create my magic metronome in BandLab that can be heard, but when set up correctly, won't be recorded. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on virtual instruments. Tap on the keyboards tab. And tap on Grand Piano. Next, tap on the Step Sequencer icon. Tap on the first square on row C1. Then tap on the 5th, 9th and 13th square on the row B0. Then tap on the X icon. Now tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the tone tab. Then tap on multi filter. Here I'm going to use two multi filters. One as a low pass and one as a high pass. So I can set the sound frequency to around 40 Hertz which makes it a lot harder for a microphone to pick up the sound. Tap on the box to the right of the word frequency and type in 40. Then tap on save. Then drag the dot on the line below the word resonance all the way to the left. So it says zero in the box to the right of the word resonance. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the tone tab and tap on multi filter. Tap on the box to the right of the word frequency and type in 40. Then tap on save. Now drag the dot on the line below the word resonance, all the way to the left, so it says zero in the box to the right of the word resonance. Next, tap on the list box to the right of the word filter, and tap on high pass on the pop-up list. Tap on the plus icon. Next, I'm gonna add some gain effects, because 40 hertz is a very low frequency and low frequencies are not as loud as high frequencies. So I need to boost the volume. Tap on the Utility tab and tap on Gain. Tap on the box to the right of the word Gain and type in 5. Then tap on Save. Tap on the plus icon, tap on the utility tab, and tap on gain. Tap on the box to the right of the word gain, and type in 5. Then tap on save. Tap on the plus icon, tap on the utility tab, and tap on gain. Tap on the box to the right of the word gain and type in 5. Then tap on save. Then tap on the plus icon. Tap on the utility tab and tap on gain. Tap on the box to the right of the word gain and tap in 5. Then tap on save. If all this sounds rather complicated, pop over to my website, iband.co.uk, and you can get the FX preset link share for my magic metronome. Now tap on the back arrow. Tap on the X icon. Tap on the MIDI note section. Tap on the loop icon. Tap on the to the end icon. Then tap on the tick icon.
Tap on the mixer settings icon. Tap on solo on the track header. Drag the dot on the line on the track header all the way to the right. Then press on the play icon and drag the dot on the line on the track header to the left if the red section lights up on the master level meter. It's important at this point that the sound does not clip because if the sound clips, it'll create harmonic distortion and harmonic distortion will be a higher frequency than the 40 Hertz. So could be hurt by the microphone. Now tap on the solo icon again and tap on the mixer settings icon. Now plug in some headphones and record your vocals. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. After you have recorded your vocals, tap on the MIDI notes section, then tap on the delete icon. I came from the emptiness with nothing. To lose. You can also use my magic metronome to record without headphones, but if you do, you'll probably have to do the following. Tap on effects. Tap on the plus icon. Tap on the tone tab. Tap on Graphic EQ and drag the dot on the lines below 100 Hz and 200 Hz all the way to the left. I came from the emptiness with nothing to lose. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.